Hi there. Welcome to this episode. 中文字读和写第九集 Today we're going to learn the pronunciation and writing of the new characters, and also we're going to do a lot of review. It's going to be fun. If you've been watching the videos until today, I want to tell you you did a fantastic job. It's been quite a journey, and I know it's not easy. We are right now building our foundations, and gradually you're going to have your clicks in your mind, and those are your aha moments. We just need to build enough foundation in order to get that, but they're coming. Trust me. So please stick to this, and let's continue our journey. So this week we learned five characters. 学字 First character, 火火火火 and this is the 偏旁 of 火 Next character, it has the 偏旁 of 火 and this is 炮炮 Pow, pow. Next character, get rid of this 偏旁 of 火 and this one is 包包包包 I think you go to the dim sum restaurant and then you all probably had experience of eating cha siu bao. So this is the same character, bao. And you know that bao. Has the same right part of pao, and then usually the right hand side part contribute to the pronunciation and the vowel. So both of them has this ao. So it's this one is pao, and this character bao. Next character, re, 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 re. So R is pronouncing as r r, and then E is a r r r, and this four dots is the 偏旁 of r, and this is also means 火 The next character, z z z z. Z H. You can imagine、um, when you pronounce somebody's name George, the very end sound j j like this Z H. So this is j j. Okay, let's look at the、uh, strokes. 火火 three components. 点撇捺 So basically, you start with 点 and then 撇 and then a longer 撇 and with a 捺 If it is the 偏旁 instead of the last stroke instead of this 捺 you have a 点 So let's look at the life. Okay, one more time. That's 火 Next character, 炮 We start from the left hand side part, and that's the 偏旁 So it's 点撇 a longer 撇 another 点 So that's the left, and the right we have 撇 And then we go with this 横折钩 is right here. 横折钩 and then we go inside is 横折横折 and then a 横 and then end with this 竖弯钩 This is 竖弯钩 So that's 炮 So let's、um, look at the life.
right, so one more time. This is Pao. Next one, Bao. We just need to get rid of the Pian Pang, and now it's Bao. So the same concept. Let's look at the uh, life. Okay, one more time. That's Bao. Okay, next one. It's a little bit more complicated. And then the, we still start from the left. The left is Heng, Shu, Heng, Dian, Pie, Heng, Heng, Shu. So here are all the components. And then we go to the right part. So it's starting with a Pie. And next one, it's something new. So it's one stroke, Heng, Xie, Go. So you can consider combine the Heng and Xie, Go together, make one stroke. So it's Heng, Xie, Go, and then end with a Dian. So let's look at the life. Okay, the last time. That's zhi. Okay, now let's look at ru. Ru. We start from the top and then the bottom, and then on the top we do left first and then right. So left, right, and bottom. That kind of order. So we start with heng. And then shu, a heng, pie, dian, heng, shu, ti. This is ti. And then pie, heng, xie, go, dian. And then we go with the bottom. Yi dian, er dian, san dian, si dian. So that's ru. Let's look at the life. Last time. So this is Ru. All right, now let's do the writing practice. Okay, we'll start with Hu. We go with Pao. 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 Next one will be Bao. 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 Next one, zhi. 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 
直。直，直，热。热热。Okay. All right. Also, let's also write the 偏旁 of 火。The 偏旁 of 火。偏旁 of 火 okay, and also the 偏旁 of the other 火 the 偏旁 of the other 火 Okay, so. That's the end of the writing practice. Let's repeat the pronunciation of the five characters again. 火火火火炮炮炮炮包包包包热。热，热，热，直，直，直，直。Now let's do our reviews. Let's first review all the 偏旁 we learned so far. These five characters are the five elements. We go with the order of 木、火、土、金、水。This is the relationship of intergeneration from top to bottom. So the top one is the mother of the next one next to it. Mu generates hu because the tree generates fire, and then hu generates tu. After fire, there will be ashes and also、um, dirt. So hu generates tu. Tu generates jin. Because the metal mines or metal come out of the earth, and Jin generates Shui. When Jin got melted, and they become the water form of the metal, and then Shui generate Mu again,、uh, and start the next cycle. So Mu, Hu, Tu, Jin, Shui, the five elements. Let's look at the first Pian Pang. Mu, we learned, Lin, two Mu together is Lin, a bunch of Mu trees, Lin, Lin, Lin. Three Mu together, a lot of Mu, Sen, Sen. This is forest, and then Li, Li, Li also has Mu. The characters with 火 as 偏旁 we learned 炮炮 cannon, and then if we put two 火 together, 盐盐 this is hot. 地
we learned with the pian pang of tu. This is earth or land. And we have yin, 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 silver, and then tong, tong, copper. Both of them are metal, and they both have jin as pian pang. We also learn shui as pian pang, jiang, jiang, big river, he, he, smaller river than jiang. Xi, Xi, the branches of Jiang or He or brooks. Pao, Pao, this is the bubbles. Fa, 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 Fa also has the pian pang of water. Next, we have Xin as two forms of pian pang. Xin at the left, we have kuai, kuai. This is fast, man, man, slow, pa, pa, fear. Xin at the bottom, ren, ren, tolerate. Xin in the middle, ai, ai, love or like. We also learn ren. And this is the pian pang. We always say ni hao, ni with the ren as pian pang means you, ni hao, ni. We also learn zou, fast walk or big step walk, zou. And this is the pian pang of zou. This is a new character. I'm just putting here and give you some idea. Um, tao, tao, tao. This character means escape. When you escape, of course, you use your fastest zou, and of course, it has zou as pian pang. You also learned kan, kan, kan. This is look, jian, jian. This is see, and both have this as. Pian pang. This one is mu. You haven't learned this one. This is mu, means the eyes. So of course you look and see with your eyes. That makes sense, right? I hope you got your aha moment here. All right. Next, let's practice the phrases we learned before. 学说话 learn speaking. So let's do the greetings of the whole day. In the morning, you say 早上好早上好 If more normal speed, you will say 早上好早上好 Next one, 下午好下午好 Good afternoon, 下午好晚上好，晚上好 ，Good evening。晚上好，晚上好。Next group， 你好，你好，你好。That's hello。新年好，新年好。Have a good year。新年好，谢谢，谢谢 ，Thank you， 再见，再见 ，Meaning see you again。All right, so that's it for this episode。谢谢，再见。